Come on, you. Get the show on the road. You got a bunch of stuff to talk about. You don't love me, right? If you really love me, you'll give me the one thing that I really crave, which is a divorce. I was super excited to work with you because I've been such a fan of yours. And then you came in, you just blew everybody away. Take off your glasses. Are you trying to divorce me on acid? You're not thinking straight. That's why I'm thinking straight. This isn't old Peggy Newman. I'm a PI. And I'm working up a case. Is that a lady's finger? Ta-da. It's <laughs> nice to do something where there's so much history right at the onset. This just sounds like another one of those crazy things you're trying between rehabs. Come on. I'm like Mary Tyler Moore on methadone. Peggy, to me, is a real hustler. But you are the only person who out-hustles her. There she is. Are you fucking kidding me? But Danny is a schemer, but he really believes in this new spiritual path. I've got an email list of men who are looking for a safe place to practice Qigong and shit. We meet him early in the story, and he wants his woman back. He wants his wife back. Look at you! I know! You're a fucking phoenix, baby. He hasn't decided that they're divorced yet. He's Trust a little me, I'm the man. I'm gonna take care of things. It'll be good for us in the end. You're such a fucking liar! I only lied so we could be together when I got out. Can I have a coffee? and an apple pie and a prime rib to go and give this fucker the check. They both have these wedding bands tattooed to their fingers, mm -hmm. but hers has been covered with an X. You know, Peg, I choose to focus on the good times, not the bad. You ruined the holiday, Diddy! It's very authentic to me, and that's the thing that I like more than anything about this. The best parts of them are aligned, and the worst parts of them are aligned. Maybe I've been a little harder on you. I just still want to give you the benefit of the doubt, you know? I am trying. Yeah. Thank you for seeing that. Yeah. Um, can I call you back? <laughs> Where would you see Peggy and Denny 10 years from now? If they're, if they're alive. both alive. <laughs>